Um, this is a fast video. I'm actually going to post it to John Paul Dorn's video. Um, I watched, I've been out for a while, but I came back and I watched both Professor Anton's and John Paul Dorn's. Well, I didn't watch all of Professor Anton's, but I watched all of John Paul Dorn's and I'm going to watch all of um, Corey's video, but I wanted to make a fast video response to John Paul Dorn because I mean I don't think people give John Paul Dorn enough credit. I mean prime. Um, he is right about I don't think this is either or. I'm either for John Paul Prime or I'm against Professor Anton, which I think is one of the absurd things that people fall into here on YouTube. Uh, I watched his video. I do think that Americans have a right if they don't can't pay the rent and um, their cars are under stress and you know they can't pay their payments and they've got kids to support. I mean, there's a lot of stress out there. There's a lot of people who want to do better for themselves and for people who depend on them and they can't because they have lost their jobs or um, you know whatever and they're told to pull themselves up by their bootstraps and you know that people in third world countries are starving which is what my parents pulled on me to make me eat my vegetables and I had to learn to eat vegetables as an adult because I hated them telling me to do that I mean what we are what somebody tries to force us to do is the last thing, especially when we're under stress already. It's the last thing we want to do. And um, we do have it better um, as Americans than people do who live in third world countries. I mean, I absolutely think that's true. But we also are under stress. Now, we can learn to cooperate find out what our neighbors are doing when they have stress and when they have job problems. I mean, there's a really good movement which is called the Transition Movement. Um, and it had a lot of momentum a few years ago. I think it's kind of lost momentum now. But, I mean, we should be learning what our neighbors are doing and learning whether or not we can cooperate with our neighbors, um, whether or not if we need a job, they know about a job. Um, most of us who are Americans, I mean, I live in the UK now, and I know my neighbors to a much greater, although I've always known my neighbors pretty much, um, but I know them even more here. And um, I, I just think one of the first things you do if you're under stress is try to figure out the people that are nearest to you who are also under stress in the real world, not on YouTube. Um, see what they're doing to handle it and you'll find that most of them are not drowning their problems in a bottle or um, you know just putting more on the charge card. And if they are and you're doing better than they are then talk to them about it. I mean what is this about how if you're right, somebody else has to be wrong. And that's what, I mean, John, John Paul, um, the thing I do not like about you is that if you're right, uh, you got to find somebody who's wrong. I mean, I don't think that Professor Anton had bad intentions here. I really don't. I just think you, you know, I don't know what you did, but, um, you know, I'm, I, I really think that the idea that we can't cooperate um, that we're some sort of, we have to be competitive no matter what is doing us in and we better start strategizing about how to cooperate before it's too late. And evolution does not say that there's no way that we can do this except to try to extract some more from people who have less. I don't know. Yeah, I, YouTube, oh my god. I mean, we should use it for something besides just complaining and trying to find out what other people are doing wrong. But that's just my take on it. Have a good evening. Take care.
Bye.